Running the alarm about the border problem since 2012, he would know it. He is Texas Governor Rick Perry of Border State, obviously. Governor, this surprises you, I imagine, to the, the length and, and how bad the problem has gotten. The numbers do. The numbers are shocking when you think about a thousand a day are being apprehended along the border. Turning this is, themselves in. Right. And, and I think there's some thought that this is a calculated, uh, manipulated process by individuals down into Central America and Guatemala and El Salvador, uh, Honduras, so, you know, traveling across Mexico on, I mean, in, in incredibly dangerous conditions. I mean, you're, you know, your heart goes out for these kids, obviously, uh, but the issue is uh, we should never be seeing this happening. Diplomatically, I think there is a huge breakdown between the United States and those countries of being able to say, hey, wait a minute, what are you doing, and let's stop this uh, at this particular juncture. And then obviously border security. Uh, we've been sounding that alarm and putting substantial Texas dollars into it. Uh, you know, we've had a request in uh, for even more dollars going towards border security from the Texas standpoint. Right. But it's 1,200 miles. The idea that the state of Texas should be doing this, uh, you know, I, I get it. My citizens require me to keep them safe. And we're, we're engaged. We're involved down there. A lot of people may not know the resources that we actually have on the border at this particular point in time, whether it's sure. Texas Rangers, some of our military uh, uh, personnel, and, and working with local law enforcement and the INS and, and, and Border Patrol. They're just totally overwhelmed though, this president, I will suggest, is totally and absolutely either inept or making some decisions that are not in the best interest of American citizens, particularly from a public safety standpoint. Why has he not spoken, done something to stop this right now? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, and and the, we, we, we flagged this issue in, in 2012. And have yet to even have a response, as far as I know, from not just not from the president, but not even from his administration. Uh, these unaccompanied alien children. And that is a huge uh, issue. But also, we have record high numbers of other than Mexicans being apprehended at the border. These are people that are coming from uh, states like Syria that have substantial connections back to terrorist regimes and terrorist operations. So we're seeing record high, historic high numbers of these individuals sure. being apprehended. So uh, on a 1,200-mile border, which we have between Mexico and Texas, when you think about the other 600 miles, uh, what's going on there sure. in Arizona and, and on into California, it, it is a huge problem and of great concern uh, to the citizens of that. Sure. I mean, I think whether you're a Democrat or Republican, Absolutely. you right. need to be addressing this, Mr. President, and, and putting, uh, we know how to do this. We have surged into sectors of the border and shut down the illegal activities that are going on there. But we don't have the resources nor the manpower to be able to do that for the 1,200 miles. If we did, we would. Uh, right. And, Governor, real quick, uh, you've written a letter to the EPA and to the government saying, hey, these new global warming things are going to kill jobs. Along with uh, a substantial number of other governors who understand that if you put these restrictions into place, 40 percent of the electricity in this country, uh, there about, is developed by, uh, produced by coal powered. And, and if you take that out, here's what you can expect. You can expect America will never be in the game for manufacturing. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Governor Rick Perry, thank you very much for You're joining welcome. us today. Have thank a safe you, trip home. Godspeed. Governor, thank All you. Right. Strong words there.